Now, you've been looking at metastatic prostate cancer, but this is patients who haven't had androgen deprivation therapy yet, and your patients, you wanted to see whether a different therapy in addition to that worked. Tell me what it is you were trying to do. What, what were you trying to do here? We're trying to find if Darcetaxel, at the time of androgen deprivation in, uh, administration starting, could increase survival over androgen deprivation therapy alone in hormone-sensitive metastatic prostate cancer. Now, the reason you were trying docetaxel at this early stage was what? Because docetaxel has demonstrated survival improvement in castration-resistant prostate cancer, and the aim was to demonstrate if docetaxel earlier, with a lower volume disease, less uh, clonal resistance disease, could improve survival with androgen deprivation therapy. Could you describe the study to me? Yes, of course. We began the study in 2004 until 2008, and we included 385 patients, and patients were randomized between androgen deprivation therapy alone and androgen deprivation therapy with docetaxel, 75 milligram per meter square, each 21 days, up to nine cycles. Premedication was required, but deliprednison was not. And patients were uh, randomized, the randomization was centralized, and the randomization was stratified according to systemic treatment prior received by patients and uh, according to a glass risk group that was uh, uh, prognostic factors. Now, you had, you had nearly 400 patients. What happened? What happened? At the first time we looked at the, the, the primary endpoint was overall survival and secondary endpoint were biological progression-free survival, clinical progression-free survival, quality of life and toxicity. And after a median follow-up of 50 months, at the first time we published the results in Lancet Oncology, uh, the, the overall survival was not different between the two arms. Biological progression-free survival and clinical progression-free survival were improved in the cetaxel arm over androgen deprivation arm alone, and uh, we didn't demonstrate survival improvement. Today, we are presented a longer follow-up, an updated survival analysis with 82.9 months of follow-up, and we look also at the volume disease. Dr. Sweeney, last year at the ASCO meeting, presented the chartered study which the same hypothesis was proposed, whether docetaxel could improve survival in androgen deprivation, in, uh, with androgen deprivation therapy arm in hormonosensitive metastatic prostate cancer. And they included seven 190 patients, and after a median follow-up of 29 months, they demonstrated that survival was improved in the cetaxel arm with 17 months improvement of survival in the cetaxel arm with 32 months to, for androgen deprivation therapy alone arm to 49 in androgen deprivation therapy and the cetaxel arm. And in your study, what did you find? And Based on this result, we look at the volume disease in our patient retrospectively, and we found that we, we recorded all volume disease of all of our patients, and we found that for the low volume disease, we did not demonstrate a survival improvement, and for high volume disease, probably not our study is underpowered, we have a, a, a non-significant four months uh, trend for better overall survival, but we have less high volume disease. How do you explain the discrepancy between your results and the other study? We have a lot of low volume disease, probably. Uh, our patients were not selected for inclusion, for enrollment. It was all the patients. And for chartered study, at the, at the inception, only patients with high volume disease were enrolled. And um, f first is the first, it's the first response of, of, of our, your question. The second is, in our androgen deprivation therapy arm alone, 80% of 
our patient received Darcetaxel at the time of castration resistance, at the time of PSA progression. So, and maybe they received Darcetaxel earlier. And the hypothesis is maybe that Darcetaxel earlier, but at the time of castration could also have uh, an improvement in survival. Okay, now, ha where is this going? I want to distill out of it a clinical message because it, it seems you can give some guidelines. The, the message is probably in high volume disease, chemotherapy would improve survival with androgen deprivation therapy alone arm. In low volume disease, we did not demonstrate this improvement and Charted did not too. We are awaiting for the results of the Stampit study, uh, maybe at the ASCO this year. And we hope to work all together, the three studies, to give the good treatment for the good patients. So what should doctors remember from your findings so far? My finding is for high volume disease, you need to propose to, our, to your patient uh, Dorsetaxel with androgen deprivation therapy. And for low volume disease, I think you, you have to propose androgen deprivation therapy alone, and, uh, but to, you have to, to, to make a good surveillance of your patient, and if PSA increase, you have to propose Dacetaxel.